high fps you're above the game's recommended spec and the game still stutters here's the difference before a sorted frame timeline after almost flat i'll show you how to get the flat line in five steps why this matters big fps numbers are great but inconsistent frame time causes micro stutters let's measure it properly and then fix it so here's step zero measure don't guess install msi after burner with Rivatoner statistics server turn on the on-screen display for fps frame time gpu percent cpu percent vram percent and even 0.1 percent lows to see the worst case dips set quick keys for start stop recording so you can capture 30 to second seconds of gameplay step one the fastest fix if your pc can constantly and consistently push more fps than your monitor's refresh rate set a cap in river tuner to refresh rate minus 3 to 5 fps for example for 144 hertz set to 141 100 set it to 97 95 with g-sync or free sync keep v-sync on in the driver and off in the game without vrr use v-sync on in game and cap at refresh this cap should flatten the frame time you might lose a few fps but the game should feel much smoother are you cpu bound fix fix the choke point if one or two cpu threads sits at 100 percent while the gpu hovers under 80 percent your CPU bound. Keep the FPS cap, then lower crowd density, draw distance, shadows, and close, close background apps and overlays. That frees up CPU time and smooths the graph. VRAM pressure and texture streaming. If VRAM runs at 95 to 100%, you'll see hitching. Lower textures, ray tracing, and resolution scale. And try to make sure that the game runs on a fast SSD and keep at least 20% free space on the drive. Shaders and driver sanity. After updates, micro stutter can appear while shaders recompile. Let the game finish that process. Just play around a little and see if, it, if the stutter continues. If a new driver made things worse, do a clean install or a rollback. Also, test Windows hardware accelerated GPU scheduling on versus off. Obviously, keep whichever gives a flatter frame time line. What about if you can't reach your refresh rate in FPS? A 60Hz monitor, for example, but you only float around 50 to 55 FPS? Cap 3 to 5 FPS below your stable average. For example, 52 or 50 FPS and reduce a couple of heavy settings. This often feels smoother than chasing unstable FPS peaks. Here are a few bonus checks. Make sure temps aren't throttling. Page file is system managed. RAM XMP Expo is enabled and stable. And the game is not on a nearly full drive. Some titles also stream data heavily. If they support direct storage, that helps. If VRAM is under 90%, CPU isn't pegged, the cap is set and the frame time is still spiky, it's likely a bad port or a bug. Check recent reviews and patch notes for your game. So let's recap. Cap correctly, VRR plus right vSync, lower CPU heavy settings, keep VRAM under pressure with smarter texture and RT settings, run on a fast SSD when possible, and verify shaders and driver. If this helped, like and subscribe to Techie Show for fast and practical PC fixes. And drop your game plus resolution and GPU VRAM and Hertz in the comments. I'll suggest your ideal FPS cap.